Hello everybody and welcome back to Wise Words Wednesdays with Rev Deb. This is week 41 of my internship and ministry. It is book three and lesson six and it's entitled Spiritual Understanding Through Intuition. And we talked last week about how religion is kind of small and in a box and everybody's got to do the same thing. And there is a, des if you have a desire for a greater degree of love and prayer that's divinely connected through love, which is the glue that supports all of creation, it will help you to see that life is love and that love is an expression of spirituality and that religion is not spirituality. Religion is, I say this, you do that, and then you can do whatever I say you're going to do. Spirituality is you yourself connecting with source in any way that works best for you. It is expansive. It's not a box. And so what works for you and gets you to that next level works best for you. And nobody can tell you differently. And I love that because how I connect to source is different than anybody else. And I connect in loads of different ways. As I've told you before, sometimes I see a vision and then I step outside my door and I actually see it playing out in front of me. Sometimes I hear a little something that says, do this or don't do this. And I listen to it. And if I don't, I'm sorry, because it's always right. But when you're connected to source, you have a one-on-one. -on -one. It, it's, it's something that you can rely on anytime, anywhere. You don't have to wait until Sunday when the church is open or whenever your church or temple or synagogue or um, mosque is open. And, and I really believe that spiritual connection is the best thing. I mean, everybody can have their little boxes and that's fine. But if you personally connect on a certain level, I feel that that's the best way for you because I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like most religions have things that you like and things you like. Mm, I don't want to really listen to that bit. And uh, it, it's difficult for people who are religious and need to stay in the box when there's bits that don't work for them. So I'm suggesting to you that you can have your religion, but also be spiritual so that you have what connects to you and your unique soul. Mwah. Life, I'm loving every minute of it. Love is the answer. And remember, if you would like to support people who are unhoused, you can do that in, at the end. Thanks so much. And we'll see you next week. Bye.